In this video, we're going to look at using DMX Fallback with our Genetics node. The DMX Fallback is supported in all of our Genetics nodes, GW2 iron wall plates, GN2, GN5, and GN10. And it works across nodes as well, which we'll look at in this video. DMX Fallback allows me to do loops of DMX. So at the moment, I'm coming out at DMX out of port 1 on my GN10. I'm coming out and going in as normal to a fixture. And of course, I could then go and daisy chain off to other fixtures. So in Magic Q, if I come uh, to select the par here and locate, you can see we've got output from this par. Uh, what I'm going to do by loopback is I go from the end fixture. So in my case, we've only got one fixture. So I'm going to come out of this fixture back into the node. Or I could daisy chain as normal and after the last fixture in the chain, go back into the node. Why would I want to do this? Uh, well, it's redundancy. So if there's a cable break partway through or some, something happens to one of the fixtures, DMX can go both ways around the chain. So first off, I need to configure the node uh, for fallback. So I'm going to go to my setup window. I'm going to go to DMX IO and I'm going to go to net manager and I'm going to look at my GN10 node here and I'm going to look at the ports for it. You can see here my ports for GN10 currently is set to streamy ACN as its protocol. I'm outputting streamy ACN from Magic Q uh, to my GN10 node. I'm going to change port 2. Instead of outputting streamy ACN, I'm going to set it uh, to fallback and I'm going to set the universe to universe 1 matching port 1. So I've now got uh, port 2 of the node set to streamy ACN universe 1, but instead of output, it's set to fallback. Now what I'm going to do is take my DMX cable. I'm going to connect it to port 2 of the node, like so. And then I'm going to connect it to the output, DMX output of the fixture. So I've created a loop now. I'm going out from port 1 into the fixture. Could be daisy and chain to other fixtures. Coming out the last fixture and going back into port 2 of the node. Um, now looking at the LEDs of a node, um, you can see it's no longer blue, uh, indicating that the node is currently monitoring DMX input. So on port 2, it's receiving DMX in. So there's no output from that port at the moment as long as it receives DMX input. Uh, now if I go and select that par, uh, and I just go and add an effect on it, something like just a basic color flick, so a red-blue effect, and just tap to time so we can see uh, that's changing color. Now if there's a break in the cable, um, so I'm with DMX input cable. So in my case here, I'm going to actually physically unplug uh, the cable coming out of port 1, like so. You can see port 2 sensed that DMX in was lost, so has now started outputting. So DMX is now getting to the fixture the opposite way around the chain. That could be a break in the middle of the chain, so it could break uh, between, so I've had 10 fixtures after the fifth fixture, and then DMX would go both ways around the chain. Both ports would be sending out data. Uh, if I plug this cable back in again, uh, it will then sense DMX is received back again on this one, so we'll go back to a monitoring state. It is possible to do DMX fallback between multiple nodes. So if I unplug my fallback cable here and now come back to Magic Q and go to Setup, DMX IO, Net Manager, this time I'm going to go to the devices, I'm going to go to my GM5 node, go to ports for it. And you can see at the moment, port 1 is set to Streamy ACN Universe 1 output. I'm going to set it to fallback on Streamy ACN Universe 1. So that same universe that I'm outputting for this fixture. I'm now going to connect my fallback cable to the node, like so. Uh, so the node is now monitoring the DMX here. And if I was to unplug, break the chain, like so, DMX can now go both ways around the chain. Uh, and I can see I've got the fallback happening here. So you can use fallback between two different uh, nodes. So it could be a GM5, GM5 at each end of the fixtures or something there, have fallback between two different devices. Uh, so that's DMX fallback or loops of DMX with our genetics nodes.